Welcome back into Coin's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making jam. Saints preserve us. So the flavour of this one is apple, slow and blackberry. A nice autumnal treat using up some of the fruit that you can find around at the moment. Sticky mess, we'll be using the following. We have fresh apples picked from my sister's garden. Blackberries and slows picked from Chilton Polder. A large bag of fuga. Now first up, we're going to want to peel the apples. I tried doing this without peeling them before, and it is all right. But it's much easier to keep it a puree if it's smooth to begin with. And if you have a cabin boy, they can do this instead. Tailed and cored and chopped. You, it's up to you how finely you want them chopped. So they are going to get just get pureed after they're cooked. So we're going to get mushed up. But I think the smaller the better makes it a bit easier. We chuck it in a pot with blackberries, a nice big saucepan, or a stock pot. Now with the slowberries, I do recommend actually cutting these and getting the stone out before you put them in the mix because it was a pain in the ass trying to get the pits out afterwards. And also, don't try and eat them before they're cooked. Please. Just cut that in half. Make an incision around it. Pop those pips out. Probably going to get very sticky. Try to keep as much pulp and stuff in the mix as you can, because you're going to want all the fruit. It's just the stone you don't want. Again, don't lick your fingers. All the fruit in there. We're going to want to simmer it. So we get the water just above the line of the fruit. That should be plenty. Get them boiling. And once that's up to a boil, we leave it to simmer for about 10 20 minutes. You can get yourself a big bowl and a sip. And a shot glass, a bottle of tequila, and a slice of lime. Getting ready, we're going to want to put that through a sieve soon. Just check to see if the apple is mushy. Is crushed. I think it can. So, with the sieve in a bowl, you can transfer that into the sieve. I'm doing this one handed, so you can do it less awkwardly than me. Is to smush it through the holes. Probably a better sieve than this. And getting out any leftover seeds or apple skins that you might have left behind. And once you have your what looks like chum, you're now ready to put that back in the pan, boil it up with some sugar. And as I haven't really been using any measurements, I'm still not going to use any measurements, so just guess when it comes to sugar, just know that you need a lot. It's about that much, I'm probably going to have to put it. So we're going to start with that and we're going to add to it if we need to. Time, you can sterilize your intended jam jar by putting it in the oven for about 10, 20, 10 minutes on low heat. Hi. Making sure to stir it, you want the juice down to a nice sort of thick syrup. Just let it cool for a bit before we transfer it to our nice sterile jar. The transfer will begin. Ready? It's ready to go in the fridge. Yay! Glasses! Why not give this a go yourself, please? You can have it on your, your porridge, your donuts, some pets, croissants, notorious butter. 
Don't forget, we're raising for the RNLI. Please follow the links and donate. Be seeing you.